today we will discuss method of characteristic to obtain general solution of a quasi linear equation what is a quasi linear pde we have already discussed about the uh, various type of first order partial differential equation so one of that is quasi linear when we call an equation quasi linear if uh, it is linear in p and q that means ux and ui power of ux and ui are one but not linear in u okay and the coefficient of ux and ui that is p and q includes the dependent variable u so the standard form of a quasi linear pde is a x y u u x plus b x y u u y is equal to c x y u where a b c are arbitrary function of x y and u u x u y are first partial differentiation with respect to x and y respectively okay x and y are independent variable and u is the dependent variable hence this represent the standard form of a quasi linear pde now look at this equation if we take c x y u to the left hand side then this equation can be written in this way a u x plus b u y minus c is equal to 0 in place of a x y u we have written a b x y u is b and c x y u is c we understand a b c to be function of x y u or may be constant okay now uh, this can be so all quasi linear pde can be written in this way again this can be represented as a product product of two vector dot product between two vector look here a b and c ux ui minus 1 if we take two vector in this way then this represent the dot product between these two vector that means a b c dot ux ui minus 1 is equal to 0 so every quasi linear pde can be represented as a dot product between two vector and dot product between the two vector is 0 what is the meaning of dot product between these two vector 0 that means these two vector are perpendicular now look here what is the significance of this one okay we are trying to find a general solution of this quasi linear pd that means we need a function u x y to be a solution of equation one then this is a surface in r cube obviously and um, in that surface take any point p x y z p is any point suppose this is the surface u x y and a point p x y z take any point p x y z then u x u y minus 1 represent the perpendicular to this surface at that point this is a surface in r cube so this is the perpendicular at the point p is u x u y minus 1 again dot product between these two vector is 0 so this vector is perpendicular to this normal okay this vector is perpendicular to this normal at the point p what is the meaning of that that means this vector lies in the tangent plane to this surface at point p a b c lies in the tangent plane to the surface at the point p okay so finding a solution is equivalent to finding a surface such that all point a b c lies in the tangent plane that means we, uh, we to obtain the surface we want to find a curve such that derivative at each point are equal to the vector a b c that means x dash is equal to a y dash is equal to b and z dash is equal to c s is some parameter that means it is dx by ds is equal to a dx by dy is equal to b and dz by ds is equal to c and these equation are known as the characteristic equation of the given pde and this surely exist due to picard's theorem picard's theorem provide us the existence of such such curves and these are known as the integral curves okay now this is one curve on the 
surface which is the solution and if we take union of all such curve then we get the required surface which is the solution of the given pdq let us take one example so that the method will be clear okay now take ut plus a ux is equal to 0 now look here the coefficient of ut here the independent variable are x and t and the dependent variable is u now coefficient of ut is 1 and coefficient of ux is a both are constant now this equation can be, and the right hand side is 0 now this equation can be represented as ut ux this is one vector dot 1 a okay look here now in order to make it a standard form we can write this as ut ux minus 1 dot 1 a 0 the co coefficient here we should take 0 so that this is the standard form which we need okay so this is the pde okay now what are the characteristic curve of this pde as we have already discussed characteristic curve we obtain as x dash s is equal to a derivative with respect to derivative of x with respect to s is a okay derivative at x is a derivative of t t dash is equal to 1 and derivative of z is equal to 0 okay x dash is equal to a here a is equal to 1 b is equal to a and c is equal to 0 okay in place of x it is t and in place of y it is um, x and z is here now if this is the characteristic curve integrating with respect to s we get x is equal to a s plus c1 t is equal to s plus c2 and z is equal to c3 some constant okay now this t is equal to s plus c2 look here that means s is equal to t minus c2 we need to eliminate s from this equation and obtain a relation between x, x t and z okay now s is equal to t minus c2 replace this s with t minus c2 so what we get that x is equal to a s plus c1 in place of s as we have discussed we replace it with t minus c2 so a into t minus c2 plus c1 that is a t minus a c2 plus c1 that is a t plus c4 take this a c2 c1 minus a c2 to be c4 okay so what we get is x minus a t x minus a t is equal to c4 where c4 is c1 minus a c2 now from this we can write it as x is equal to a t plus c4 for some constant for some constant c4 okay depending on c1 and c2 now what we have already obtained is z is equal to c3 z is a constant and because c4 and c3 are constant so we can write c3 is equal to some function of c4 okay c3 is equal to f of c4 and what is c4 c4 is x minus a t so what we finally get is okay is z is equal to c3 is equal to f of x minus z z is equal to c3 is equal to f of c4 which is f of x minus a t f is some arbitrary function okay so we get the solution as z is equal to u of x t function of x and t is some function of x minus a t f x minus a t if we are given with any boundary condition then we can obtain the arbitrary function also okay now if this is the solution let us check whether it is actually the solution of the given PDE or not now differentiate this with respect to x what we get is f dash x minus a t and coefficient of x is 1 so it is dot 1 now differentiate with respect to t u t is f dash x minus a t and derivative of minus a t that is coefficient of t is minus a that is multiplied so minus a f dash x minus a t 
so what we get is u t plus a u x is equal to 0 which is the given p d e hence this satisfy the given p d e so this is a solution of p d e so in this way we solve by method of characteristics take another example with a boundary condition ok 5 u x plus 2 u y is equal to 0 and the boundary condition is given u 0 y is equal to sin y that means when x is equal to 0 and y is equal to y uh, u is sin y ok now this equation can be written as uh, 5 product of 2 um, vector dot product between 2 vector that is 5 to u x u y ok another method to solve this is also form the Langlois subsidiary equation ok Langlois subsidiary another method this is another way to find the solution find the Langlois subsidiary equation that means from this equation what we get is dx by 5 is equal to dy by 2 is equal to du by 0 so consider the first two ratio dx by 5 is equal to dy by 2 that implies dy by dx is equal to 2 by 5 that means y is equal to 2 by 5 x plus c ok so y minus 2 by 5 x is equal to c and set the solution to be u x y is equal to f of c that is f of y minus 2 by 5 x now using the boundary condition applying the boundary condition we get u 0 y so we put 0 in place of x that is f of y minus 2 by 5 0 that is f of y but we are given u of 0 y is equal to sin y that implies f of y is sin y that means what is the function the function is sin ok so the solution is u x y is equal to sin y minus 2 by 5 x so in this way also by from the Langlois subsidiary equation we can solve the by method of characteristic take another question solve by method of characteristic if you are asked to solve the question by method of characteristic then we must apply method of characteristic then we uh, take this problem 5 ux plus 2 x ui is equal to 0 one coefficient is a function another one is a constant so what we will do is the easy way is to find the Langlois auxiliary equation dx by 5 is equal to dy by 2x is equal to du by 0 take the first two ratio involving x and y ok so dx by 5 is equal to dy by 2x that implies dy by dx is equal to 2 by 5 x ok so integrating we get y is equal to 2 by 5 x square by 2 plus c, c which is x square by 5 plus c so what we get is y minus x square by 5 is some constant now this is the uh, uh, characteristic curve ok so set this as u x y is equal to f of c and union of all this curve is the solution u x y is equal to f of c that is f of y minus x square by 5 ok now using the boundary condition here we obtain u 0 y put 0 in place of x that is equal to f of y is equal to sin y so f is sin function so u x y is sin of y minus x square by 5 in this way we solve by method of characteristic so what are the steps first form the Langlois auxiliary equation take the first two ratio which involve x and y and obtain f of x y is equal to some constant and that f is the um, u x y is function of that c ok and if boundary condition is given then we can um, find the arbitrary function this is the method of characteristic to solve a pde of first order